hey guys and you're welcome or you're welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing tips on how to be more attractive if you are not conventionally attractive yes i know that attractiveness is very subjective yes i know that this may be a touchy subject yes i know that this may or may not rub some people the wrong way and i know that i know all the baggage that is going to come with this video okay but i promise that i'm not going to say anything out of the norm so i just want to put out that disclaimer before people <laughs> before people get mad at me because <laughs> a lot of people do that before they actually watch the entire video to hear what you said this video was actually inspired by a tweet that i saw on twitter this morning and when i saw that tweet it was about a man who shared a picture of his skincare collection and then other men were trying to drag him and talking about oh my god you're so effeminate oh my god you must be gay oh my god why would a man be using these amounts of skincare products and i was like excuse <laughs> that thing actually infuriated me so much because i'm a person that gets very annoyed by when people don't want to use their common sense do you get so i was like you know what this is a good way to segue into this particular video that i want to talk about and it's going to also buttress some of the points that i have so that's why i'm doing this video but before i get into it make sure that you give this video a thumbs up please make sure that you also subscribe if you're not subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that i post a new upload so attractiveness is simply known as the quality or characteristics of someone or something that makes them or that makes it desirable pleasing or appealing to other people attractiveness is also largely influenced by cultural societal and personal preferences all this gibberish just means that attractiveness sometimes is subjective and sometimes it's also decided or determined by let's say societal standards or even beauty standards and i don't want to get into the controversial side of beauty standards in society but i feel like there's a general knowledge of what conventional beauty is about and I think that it is largely propelled, especially in this day and age, it's largely propelled by social media. The first thing I would say that makes you more attractive is your clothing. The type of clothes that you wear, how you dress, your fashion sense or your sense of style, all of that. All of those things are very, very essential. You know how sometimes you see some men or you see some women that maybe they are not exactly conventionally beautiful yeah but just because of how they dress or just because of their fashion style you kind of get distracted from the fact that they are not conventionally beautiful and this is not to say that every single person in the world should be conventionally beautiful or attain the beauty standards that the world has set as of 2023 but i'm just saying that some people really put effort into their dressing into their clothing so that you don't even notice the other quotes and i say this heavily in quotes their other flaws or their other qualities that don't make them attractive per se this applies to both men and women but i i don't know why i feel like coming for the men specifically because i think that ladies actually already put in effort into the things that we wear you know most of us are very first of all are very body conscious and we want to always look good you know you want to be like the finest girl in the room who doesn't want that i mean i know some people don't want that but you get what i mean i'll probably target this video to the men more than i will to the women but i'll also try to speak for both sides when it comes to clothing apart from being able to find your style it's also important to wear clothes that fit you okay you can't be out here wearing <laughs> you can't be out here wearing clothes that are not your size you will look you will look tacky do you understand and that's already like minus 10 points please you people just take the things that i'm saying like very lightly okay it's not that deep so that some people don't get offended maybe you're somebody who is not like you know fine fine and you're still out here wearing clothes that are not your size or you're out here dressing like <laughs> dressing like a clown you don't want to be doing all that so at least make a good step in that direction and one thing that i like to do is to just keep it simple in as much as yeah i think i'm a print person i i, I like to wear prints and i also like to wear solids i will wear anything that looks good to me but some people will always say that okay if you want to start out and maybe you're not a very fashion forward person just start with solids and all that this is not me trying to give fashion advice but i'm just trying to give you pointers to the things that will actually make you look more attractive okay when you're wearing pants i mean pants like trousers 
wear pants that are tailored you know you don't want to be wearing pants that are above your ankles you look like you're suffering and i'm not trying to pressure anybody into the things that they are not able to do i think all these things you just do it with time like me for instance now i used to dress like my fashion sense was so off especially when i came out from school it was just i was just somewhere in the middle and one of my friends just kept giving me directions on what to do how to dress and eventually i've i would say i've made it but i feel like i'm more comfortable with the clothes that i wear or the things that i buy so that's just me as an example i also think that if you are not somebody who is fashion forward or if you don't really know your style i mean pinterest is there you can take a lot of inspiration from all those apps and you don't always have to break the bank to look good you know there are i know that men's clothing is like <laughs> so expensive but i think that you can definitely find a way around it and one thing i like to do as well is to buy quality clothing so sometimes it may cost a bit more than you've budgeted for but it will last you a while so my point here is that invest in your clothing okay look good when you're wearing clothes you don't be wearing clothes that are dirty or clothes that are stained me now for instance once i leave my house with any outfits is going in the laundry basket because i just feel like outside is like heat sweat dust and i'm not putting that kind of thing back with my clean clothes so it's going in the goddamn laundry sometimes you you're talking to people and you look at their jeans you see the pockets of their jeans or the the bottom parts of their jeans like at the hem and it's dirty that's how i know dirty people by the way just check the pockets of their trousers their collars like all these tiny tiny things you just know that this person is probably not very very clean so also make sure that you're wearing clean and fresh clothes and all these things add to your confidence so if you're confident and you're dressing properly who is going to notice that ah, this man is not really fine like that too nobody okay nobody's gonna notice that unless the person is really really into people who are good looking and that thing i would like to add with regards to clothing is that you should make sure that you iron your clothes this one i'm speaking to babes because i know that girls don't like to iron their clothes i personally don't even like ironing like ironing is one of my worst chores to do but i take it upon myself to iron every single thing that i have to wear unless it's like <laughs> unless it's like jeans and even some of my jeans that i have sometimes i need to iron them because when you go out with wrinkled clothing you just look very off do you understand your wig is flying your clothes are not ironed you look very very off and it's just it's disgusting okay so try to iron your clothes my next point is for you to smell good okay and smelling good does not have to be so expensive if you don't have the money for high-end perfumes go for perfumes under 10k or even perfume oils they last really really long and you end up smelling really good okay smelling good is just like the icing on the cake you know you don't want to walk by somebody and be smelling of sweat you understand someone like me now i always like to smell good even in the night when i finish having my bath sometimes i'll rub my perfume oils behind my ear or my neck or my wrist like that just so that i can have that natural smell of okay this babe actually smells good and somebody has told me this thing before so i know i know that i'm not happy i don't even know how people feel like you just dress up and you don't wear perfume unless maybe you're allergic to perfumes or something and maybe you don't want to put perfume on your skin but i mean still make an effort i think that smelling good really adds to your confidence and i think it also adds to your attractiveness you know when people see you outside or you walk past people they're like mm, okay what is this person wearing this person smells really really good i think i've done like a perfume haul before so maybe if you're looking to get perfumes at very affordable prices i'm going to link the the perfume people that i buy from in the description box so that you guys can go check them out so the next thing that i'm going to say is investing in skin care and this is this is the bone of contention this is the reason why i'm actually making this video now at the beginning of the video i said that i saw a tweet from somebody he shared his skincare collection and then other men were trying to bash him for it and even women were trying to bash him for it i was like you people are supposed to know better and educate the men and you're out here acting a fool don't even get me started because if i start rambling now i'm never going to stop i feel like the topic of skincare can be very very sensitive because many people are largely ignorant about it this is coming from somebody who is not a skincare junkie yeah but i have friends who are into all these things so i kind of have an idea of what is involved when it comes to skincare one thing i would always preach is the fact that skincare is not limited to gender okay when you make fun of men who take care of their skin i kind of feel like it's 
a bit sexist to be very honest and i don't like throwing all these buzzwords around so i think it's really sexist to imply that somebody should only care about their skin or their hygiene because they're a woman it doesn't make any sense to me skincare is so important especially if you're somebody who maybe you struggle with acne or maybe you deal with rough skin i think it's only good for you to invest in skincare you don't have to buy like a lot of things there are literally maybe three step skincare routines four step skincare routines internet is saturated with all this information so even a lot of nigerian creators put good brands out there i'm going to link one of my friend dh's video in the description box as well so that you guys can go check out her channel and the video that she made on skincare i need nigerian men or some nigerian men to stop being ignorant when it comes to things like this i'm going to leave that that tweet on the screen so that you guys can see hopefully i'm able to also get some of the quotes from people that were saying all this nonsense that they were saying and i'm also going to put that on the screen so i just think it's really 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 appalling that a grown man thinks it's quote gay or effeminate to take care of your skin now when we talk about skincare some people are always like oh my god um how can you use all these products all at once every single day there is no way that if somebody has up to 50 or okay 50 let's say 50 is a stretch let me say up to 10 or 15 or 20 skincare products there's no way that they are going to be using that all of them every single day in the morning and the night like come on use your use your adult brain use your adult senses people have skincare routines for the morning people have skincare routines for the night people alternate or switch between products people also use products over time like so it's not like a one size fits all when you see people showing you their skincare collection they're not trying to tell you that oh i use all of these things on my face every single day like don't be no stop it stop being dull okay it's not attractive this is another thing it's not attractive for you to not have common sense you even see women saying sexist things like oh my god how can a man be doing all this is something wrong with you <sighs> okay let me just keep my composure okay because i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready getting so upset <laughs> now skincare is very very important why because you want to look good okay that's one of the factors that people consider when they talk about somebody being attractive oh she has good skin oh she has flawless skin her skin is like glass and i'm not trying to say that everybody should attain this level of having clear glass skin it's it's just simply not possible for everybody to be wired that way do you understand that's not what i'm trying to say but i'm trying to say that make an attempt to make your skin healthier some of you will be out here with dusty crusty musty toes knees elbows hands you be looking like freaking white walkers you look horrible and you have the guts to tell someone else that he's acting effeminate because he has skincare routine have you looked at yourself in the mirror tomorrow now you want to enter somebody's dms you don't have rays you don't have a picture you don't even have a picture for somebody to see what you look like after you come and be screaming god when under everybody's picture when you yourself you need to do a lot of work before god will actually step into your life come on now let's let's tell ourselves the truth here I feel like this largely applies to men because I, I like i said at the beginning of this video i think women actually put in some effort but if you're a woman and this applies to you please take the advice as well don't mind that maybe i may be harsh or something but even if you don't have time for skincare and your body is good and everything invest in good soaps invest in things that will help you to you know not look ashy vaseline um shea butter what nigerians call ori okay invest in those things do you understand some of you be wearing slippers here yeah? and your heels are cracked like they look like they look like mount zion you sort of need to go and get yourself a pedicure you're walking out here with ashy and dusty feet tomorrow you come and tell us about being an alpha male you're not alpha anything i have very dry skin now i the cream coat cream i use on my body <laughs> it's either vaseline or baby oil that's those are the only two things that work for me because of my dry skin do you understand so please let's be guided okay and if you don't have any idea of how these things work just google use youtube the internet is literally free okay if you guys want me to do a video on maybe the basic skincare things that you may need if you're not really into skincare skincare let me know in the comments i'd actually like to make that video because me i'm not a skincare junkie but i do my best to to look okay 
Okay. So my next point is for you to speak better or speak more eloquently. I actually have a video on this and I'm going to link it here. So I'm not going to elaborate too much on this point. But I think that what largely also contributes to you being an attractive person is how you speak, how you're able to communicate. Okay. And I'm not trying to say that everybody should be speaking Queen's English or anything like that. The basic communication, the one that you know how to do, do it well and try to improve sometimes when we bring up the conversation of people learning how to improve their english it's always like oh my god uh you're trying to please the colonial masters please no okay english is it's literally a language okay if maybe a language like swahili was the global language of the world i would still be preaching this message if Igbo was the global language that everybody in the world is learning how to speak i would still preach this language because it's the universal language that you use to communicate across cultures. So that largely determines or, you know, displays how intelligent that you are. I have a thing for people who know how to speak well, people who know how to write well, people who have a very good command of language or command of English or any language. I always like to say English because English is what's English is the global language that most people speak, you get. So I think communicating well is very, very essential to your growth as a person. And it also just contributes to how people see you as an attractive person, okay? All these tiny, tiny things would distract people from looking at your, let's say, insecurities or imperfections. So I'm going to link that video so you guys can go watch it. I dropped a lot of gems in it and you guys seem to actually like it. So make sure that you practice and learn how to speak better my last point but not the least is personal and oral hygiene can die on this hill if i have to go around the world and give every single person a lecture about the importance of personal and oral hygiene everybody knows what personal hygiene is please when you're bathing okay try to wash your bodies properly take some time in the bathroom scrub your underarms scrub your neck scrub the back of your ears okay because these are places where smells tend to just linger especially under your armpits and under your ears i feel like a lot of people don't wash their ears you'd be really really surprised <laughs> please make it a habit to wash your ears okay personal hygiene to me is really really important because i cannot be with someone who is dirty i i don't like see dirty people i don't like dirty people at all unless maybe your condition or your living condition contributes to why you may be having a kind of poor hygiene i don't know if that makes sense maybe people who live in poverty stricken areas and, and are not able to afford the basic things that other people are able to afford those are like the exceptions to the rule as an adult you're doing well for yourself there is no reason why you should walk around and be having body odor you're being a menace you're being a nuisance to society to people that are around you it personally annoys me because i have a very very sensitive nose and sensitive in terms of the fact that my nose is my strongest sense organ i will pick up any smell i will catch a whiff of any smell it is both a blessing and a curse if you're somebody who is trying to present as a more attractive person your personal hygiene matters a lot i also want to touch on oral hygiene because i think that this message cannot be preached enough oral hygiene is not just brushing your mouth and coming out of the bathroom i feel like some people don't even brush their mouths for a long enough period of time you just see people you just waltz into the bathroom and you waltz out of it and you're done brushing why spend like five minutes seven minutes ten minutes if you will spend time brush your tongue brush your teeth all those your molars your premolars everything that you can even get all those um electric toothbrushes you can get them if you want to but please spend time brushing your teeth and maybe you're somebody that has plaque in your teeth in between your teeth go to the dentist go to a government hospital things are usually cheaper there go there ask them to remove it for you it's not painful do you understand me i do that like two times in a year and it's nothing to be embarrassed about because it's just natural you know as you eat food will just accumulate somewhere between your teeth and sometimes your toothbrush is not able to remove it so over time it becomes a mold and then it forms a plaque in between your teeth so i think that those things be checking for them you want to be talking to somebody and you open your teeth to talk you open your mouth and everybody can see all the nyama nyama and impurities for those of you that are not nigerian nyama nyama just means like rubbish you know impurities I'm talking to you and i see this kind of things in your mouth i will just be i'll just be like like <laughs> just just be so irritated because i notice everything like when i'm talking to people i look at their their teeth 
I look at everything. I don't do it to judge them. I just, I just see it because that's just the kind of person that I am. So I think that if you're trying to, you know, up your game or up your race, or you're trying to, you know, be a better man or be a better woman, please <laughs> pay attention. Pay attention to your personal and your oral hygiene. At the end of the day, it just singles you out as somebody who actually pays attention to and takes care of their body. Also, you have to groom your body. If you're somebody that doesn't like body hairs or something, shave it off or go and wax it. You understand? Your armpits, the same thing. All these things are very, very essential. And it must not even be because you're not conventionally attractive, okay? These are just rules that everybody generally needs to adopt. But the thing is that society is kinder or nicer to people who are more attractive you assume the best of the best when it comes to conventionally beautiful people and it shouldn't always be that way and so people have to you know prove themselves and do extra before they are seen or before they are noticed and it's just the way of the world i I don't think that it's fair but some things are just not fair in this life but maybe you're trying to find a lover just let's be real some people are looking for who to spend the rest of their lives with and i don't see any issue with that try out all these things okay maybe that babe of your dreams will give you a chance you know start taking pictures can i forget like let, let us be seeing you do you understand you can't just send somebody's dm and be killing them with hi 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 me if you send me hi i will not answer you because i'll just feel like this one you don't have anything to say because you can't just say hi like okay uh-huh. follow up your message with something do you understand but well, i will probably get into that in another whole video if you guys want it let me know thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that it was actually helpful my goal is to impact society even if it's one person that's my goal <laughs> Is there anything you feel like I missed or if there are other tips that you think other people should adopt, leave them in the comments. You don't know who is going to be watching. You don't know who is going to be reading. And don't be shy. Please put it there. I like interacting with you guys in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of every single time that I post a new video.